What is the easiest way with just one line of code you can create your desired junior applications and maybe run it even locally as an app for you? You can have your agent Greg, your data scientist agent, your financial reporter agent, or maybe your uh, data extractor agent, or so many other examples with just one line of code. Well, this is the video about an open source solution called Create Llama that you can, the most simple way, create your own genai based application, namely just one of those that I just mentioned with one line of code, running that locally in your machine and have that leveraged. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you! All right, let's get into Create Llama, which is an open source solution that allow you to have the easiest way to get started with Llama Index. I wouldn't say just Llama Index. The easiest way, just with one line of code, you can create the most well-known uh, Gen AI based applications, namely data scientist, code interpreter, agentic rag, financial analyst, all of them will be all configured for you locally in your machine with your choice of language model, with your choice of customization and settings, and have even a front end application running for you. And I found that this is maybe the easiest way to get into, have something practical working for you, play around with. And if you like that, maybe you can literally deploy it on a scalable manner on, on cloud or any server you want. So let me quickly quickly tell you what it is and how you can run that locally in your machine so what i need to do for i let's say i want to create a financial analyst agent but without coding and configuring anything we're just providing having create llama doing that for me so the very first thing you need to do just running npx create llama index so let me copy that and let me open up my vs code and I'm gonna run this on my machine here. All right, at the same time, let me also make this to another screen. Okay, so the very first this is asking me is that, tell me what is your project name? I wanna call it MG, MG test. Then it's asking me that, what is your, you are trying to build from a genai based application? You can have agent rack, you can have a data scientist agent, financial report generator, form filler, code interpreter, and maybe information extractor. So here, let's say I want to do some financial analysis stuff. So I want to choose financial report generator. And you can have also for the backend, both Python with fast API or TypeScript for Next.js. Let's say I want to go with TypeScript. Do you want to use normal cloud? It's optional, I could say no. And here you can have the code here installed and configured for you, but starting in VS Code, I found it maybe simpler so i want to say starting vs code which is also faster all right with just having that it automatically created all the environment and codes that i need to run this application plus by default opening this readme file for me that is telling me that hey you need to also set up some keys and stuff do some stuff before you run this application and i'm going to tell you what they are so let me also go to my environment variable what you need to do you need to first come here, put your OpenAI key or any other language model that you want to specify. So you're going to remove this. Also, for the other part, which is E2B API, this is actually, E2B is an open source tool that will run the code generated by a language model. So if you have an agent that needs to run some Python codes, let's say this is a financial analyst, maybe it needs to run some Python codes over my financial data, that code won't be executed on my machine, and I don't want to deal with that. So I already created a video about E2B open source solution for running codes generated by LLM on your isolated virtual machine. Very easy to start. Check the video out. It's on my um, channel. Uh, it's a quick one that you will get more understanding of what is E2B. So you need to grab the key from the dashboard and paste it here. So for sake of recording this video, I'm going to paste it uh, now, but I will cut that part of the video. So let's skip the, the key part. 
All right, so what I did, I just saved my keys to that environment variable and environment file. And by the way, there are some more settings you can adjust there. For example, the temperature of your model or your system prompt messages, which are there, but I'm gonna use the default as is. So following this readme file, which automatically got open for me, I need to just say npm install. So I'm just following whatever this is being asked here gonna take a while and then I will be ready for actually this one will just generate embeddings of documents that I have in data but given that it's yes these are the previous data I uploaded so you're gonna generate some embeddings out of it okay maybe I will actually pause recording to save your time I will run npm run generate and then npm run dev and with running this, you should be able to see the app running locally on your local host machine here. So I will pause the recording and come back shortly. All right, so I just saved my keys that I told you about in my environment variable file. And then with just executing MP npm run dev, I was able to run this app locally on my machine. I'm gonna show you how, but before doing so, as you can see by default on the data side, there are two PDFs, which is one Tesla, uh, annual report and one Apple annual report. I'm going to use this two as an example for for running this financial analyst Genii application. So as you can see, let me switch my screen. You can see that on my local machine, I have this app working perfectly. So what I can do, I can just type, here's my financial analyst agent. I can upload data set like PDF images, CSV files, whatever. And here, given that my annual reports for Tesla and Apple are already uploaded, so I'm gonna say that create a visualized image chart comparing these two. As you can see, not only you need to do some rack stuff to get this data, but also for comparing and creating an image-based chart, it need to run some Python codes. And because we're using E2P code interpreter, my Python code will be sent to the isolated servers to execute my code, get the response back. So nothing gonna be running on my local machine for the Python codes that this OpenAI model is generating on backend. So I don't wanna upload any data given that the sample's already there. So I click on send. Let's see what's going on here. So here, it is calling my researcher agent. This agent, you can consider that as your rag agent that is trying to query Tesla financial data from this PDF file. And then there is another agent, which is your analyst, to check the queried responses and interpret them to see how they're gonna be useful and maybe generate later on a Python code to be used. There you go, you can see that there's a Python code that kind of uh, generates some charts using E2B uh, open source to get the response back and show me the image. So obviously there's an image generated comparing these two, but for some reason image is not rendered, but that's okay. So when that image went, in your local directory that you have run this application, which comes automatically under data side, you will see there's something called output. And there should be, let me check, yes, tools, because I'm using code interpreter tool under tools. You see that there's an image just got generated, and I think this is the image. There you go. So financial comparison of Apple and Tesla, beautiful. Again, it was running a Python code on backend, and here it is, and that Python code was not, not running on my machine. It was running on E2P open source server, which again, I created a dedicated video about this, how you can uh, have a code-based agent without running a code on your machine. So that's all. It was just a quick example to show you how you can use Create Llama and here as a financial analyst agent with just a couple of lines of command line codes, I was able to have that executed and test beyond just these two files that I uploaded, which was perfect. All right, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your thoughts, comments, and questions under the comments section. Any additional info about the codes that I ran about this repository is added to the Discord channel and the Discord channel link is under video description below. Thank you so much.